Greetings YouTube, welcome back to the channel. It has been a crazy day of, shall we say, good, bad, and ugly. It's interesting to me, it's almost like Kabam didn't factor in the daily special offer with the value of figuring out for better or for worse what was actually worth your money. Paragon players, I think the, the rank two to rank three generic rank up gym remains really impressive, right? Like a really, really good value. But at the same time, it's worth noting that Thronebreakers have gotten considerably less in these. And that brings us to T. Trudellini, who reported in video form and sent over to the channel the Thronebreaker selector bundle. So let's see, it's only $10 less. Let's see how the value is. So from a six-star Nexus to 15,000 six-star shards, I mean, I think that's comparable, even though the Nexus obviously is preferred. The rank up selector from rank one to rank two to rank two to rank three is such a big difference. Uh, both that and then the generics going to crystals, you would need to say that like 30 crystals were uh, the equivalent of 15 generics at a minimum, but there are six classes. So really it's, it's a much worse ratio than that. So I don't know what, I don't know what to say uh, other than the fact that the, the six star shards is by far the best offer of this because throne breakers normally get the shaft when it comes to six star shards being what we expect them to be for Paragon players. So if you just said 15,000 six star shards for 40 bucks, like on paper, that's not a bad offer, but compared to what Paragon players got for $10 more, it feels like a huge step down. And ironically, one of the best items for Paragon players ever, that rank two to rank three, is such a step down that it just doesn't feel nearly as tempting as it should. All right, the second level was either tier three alpha or tier six basic. So let's see. What that is. Okay, so that still is, um, I guess, the correct uh, ratio of half, right? 22,500 or 28,500. It's, um, it's one of those things that it makes... Um, it makes it just difficult to to get as excited when you know what's what's there for ten dollars more. I think if if this was the top offer and you didn't know what Paragon got, it would be much easier to talk yourself into this. And then the last one, I don't know why they gave Paragon tier one alphas in an offer. It makes no sense. And they still did it here with throne breakers instead of 20 it's 15 it's almost like they ran out of ideas and then it's half the tier two or half the tier five it's just an extra one of each this is like the fortune cookie at the end of the american chinese food experience where you think to yourself uh, i mean i'll take it if it's free but i'm not going to factor that into the overall value so to be objective on paper, I don't think this is a bad offer, especially with, as we go back to the beginning here, six-star shards. I think the six-star shards are by far the best part of this, though you can buy a featured six-star crystal with these shards or one and a half basic and get trash. That still isn't guaranteed value, but then again, a Nexus crystal is far from guaranteed value, whether it's class-based or a dual class or a basic you could easily still get champions that you either don't need or don't want. Or just champions that are, you know, slightly above average, but you're not going to actually use them. So, isolated in itself, I would actually give this Thronebreaker deal a C to C+. Plus. I think it's slightly above average for what Thronebreaker should expect. But the Paragon looks like an A+, plus for $10 more between the two. And when I say that, I'm not saying that players shouldn't get incentivized to want to move progression levels. This is how Kabam convinces people. This is how Kabam motivates people to do that. I get that. I am not denying it. 
But at the same time, it is what it is. Comparatively, this is just a far worse value for almost the same amount of money. So we need to talk about today's offer. I think like if it wasn't compared to Paragon, it would feel okay. But compared to Paragon, particularly for the Six Stones, the rank up gem, and even I'm sure some people wish that the Nexus Crystal had stuck around. Um, wouldn't it be great if like Thronebreaker could have a Nexus of three choices and Paragon could have a Nexus of five choices? Wouldn't that be a better way to show growth between two offers versus just shards and Nexus Crystals? Just a thought. Let me know what you think. Thronebreakers in the comments below. And thank you, T. Trudelini, for the information and data.